It was supposed to be the happiest day of my life, and I just remember wanting to melt into the background. In my head, my only friend was this monster, was this anorexia. It was the one thing I could have complete control of in a life that I felt was out of control. I don't feel uncomfortable when I talk about it. It's my story. Um, I've learned to own it. I've learned to be proud of where I've come, proud of how I am now. My name is Susan Intricate. I am a wife, a mother of three, and a part-time youth minister. I have been recovering from anorexia for the last 20 years. Anorexia has the highest death rate than any other mental illness out there. This is my story. This is what I experienced. When growing up, I started to have the feelings that I wasn't enough when my parents got divorced or when my mom would drink. I wasn't enough for her to stop drinking. So I started to just use the food as control. It just kind of became a way that I dealt with stress. I could control what I ate even if I couldn't control everything that was going on around me. I was thin, but I wasn't noticeably thin, especially at first, so people didn't think I was sick. For most of the time, I was able to hide it. If I had to eat in front of people, that's when I would eat. It became more apparent later, right after our wedding. It started to not look just thin, then it started to look a little bit more emaciated. My husband started to notice that, yeah, I'm, I'm depressed, things are not going well. He started to talk to me about what can we do. We had this great idea that we can have a baby and it's gonna fix everything. I got pregnant fast and that's where I just felt God in my heart saying, okay, Susan, if this is what we have to do to get your attention, if this is what we have to do to get you to see you're worth more, then this is what we have to do. I went to the doctor within a couple weeks and had a regiment set up. I was doing a lot of counseling appointments and then I was seeing a nutritionist and trying to get healthy because it wasn't no longer about me. I had a baby. I had to get healthy. I was really concerned at first that I would have a girl. There's a lot of research that says that eating disorders get passed down and I just did not want to pass that down to a daughter. It was very frightening because I thought, am I able to take care of a girl and raise her the right way? Am I able to help her to see that she is more than all this and that she is worth everything and that size doesn't matter? And I just remember when Rebecca was born saying to her, I promise I will always be the best for you and that we will make it through this and that you will never not feel loved. Our relationship is based on a lot of mutual Respect. Yes, yeah, she <laughs> is me. I am very proud of who you are. Thanks. One of the things I didn't want my kids to ever worry about weight and to worry about I'm fat or I'm too skinny or any of that stuff. So they never heard Colby and I say anything about our weight or about our body image. So how about you get your dress out and we'll get that tried on. When I look at Becca at 16 and I think about myself at 16, I am just amazed at her and wish that my 16 year old self would have had a friend like her because she is so powerful and strong and knows who she is. She also knows that she is more than just her weight and more than just her looks and that she is loved beyond and that she knows that she is enough. I like it. I like it a lot. When we moved here, I fell into this great group of friends, and these gals have become my biggest support system. Here's to great Yay. friends. Cheers. 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 <laughs> they keep me grounded, they make me laugh. They are an amazing group. Every day is a new day, and every day is a day that I'm still recovering. It's not over, it's not done, it's something I'm doing every day. Eating disorders happen to everyone and anyone. When I go on talks at schools or youth groups, my goal is to bring this out of the darkness and into the light. I want us to talk about this stuff instead of making it so taboo. I think finally mental illness is starting to get some recognition and this is one of them. And so I would like to just be able to be that voice and to be out there for people to know that this is okay. It's okay to talk about. It's okay that you feel this way, you know, and to help support other women and men that go through it.
If you walk away from this with nothing today, I hope you walk away with one thing. Eating disorders are not about food. Eating disorders have a lot to do with control. And the second thing is how we feel about ourselves. I think if you guys can talk to each other and remind each other that we're all enough, just the way we are, it would go a long way. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.